So today I wanna to talk about computational photography because honestly, this technology is going to completely revolutionize the quality of your smartphone camera. Okay, so when I say computational photography, you might be thinking those AI or scene recognition modes that companies like Huawei have introduced in their phones, and that's part of it, but that's not what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about the computational photography that makes all of your photos way better. So one of the examples of computational photography that you're probably familiar with is Google's HDR Plus technology. Now, this was developed by a dude named Mark Lavoie, who used to be a professor at Stanford, but he actually left to work at Google to develop this technology for the Nexus 6. HDR Plus works by taking a bunch of photos with really short exposure times. This means that the highlights are never gonna get blown out and really they're just very underexposed. But it takes the cleanest of those images and then stacks all the other images on top and that way it's able to take the average of all those pixels, raise the shadows, and come up with an image that has really great dynamic range. Now this process actually took quite a bit of time on the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 6P. You probably remember hitting the shutter button and then waiting a while for that circle to go around and round before you could actually look at the image you took. The Google Pixel got around this by stacking the image sensor directly on top of the DRAM chip. This made it so it could read out the data way faster, put it through that Snapdragon processor, and produce an HDR Plus image before you even knew it was taking one. This is what's led to the amazing photo quality of the Google Pixel and the Google Pixel 2, and you probably didn't even realize that you were taking an HDR Plus image, but you were. But let's look into the future a little bit. You know how in CSI they can zoom into an image and enhance it to suddenly make the image way more clear and just a lot cleaner? Well, NVIDIA is actually working on a lot of similar technologies that are gonna make that a reality. A really cool example that I saw from NVIDIA was this new denoising algorithm that they've got. So basically you take a really noisy image like any regular image that you would get in photography and they can completely denoise it by running through a machine learning algorithm. This could actually make HDR Plus way better because when you raise the shadows of a really underexposed photo, it generally adds noise. So now Google could take even shorter exposures, get darker images, raise the shadows, and just get rid of any of the noise that they've got there. That way you've got more dynamic range and a cleaner image overall. The other cool party trick that NVIDIA's got is a new enhanced AI content aware fill. So if you're not exactly privy to what content aware fill is, basically in Photoshop or another similar program, you can scrub over a portion of the image and the program will basically fill in that part with whatever it thinks should be there. Well, it's never really been that great in the past and you've had to use some other techniques to clean it up. NVIDIA showed off a version of it that is just mind blowing. Basically, you could scrub it over someone's face and just completely get rid of wrinkles, get rid of that chair in the back of the room or annoying painting that you don't wanna be on the wall. It'll basically fill it in with what it thinks based on the AI machine learning algorithms that it's got running. And this is way, way better than anything we've ever seen before. Now we saw Google start to do this before about a year ago. They had a new feature in Google Photos that they called Remove Object. Now this hasn't exactly come to fruition yet, but the whole idea is that you could be at your son's baseball game, take a picture of him through the grate, and then just get rid of the grate in post, and that way you just see your son and all the air around him. There's nothing actually obstructing your view. Now the craziest part about all of this is, none of these techniques actually use that much extra hardware in your phone. Google's Pixel and Pixel 2 phones are still considered some of the best camera phones on the market right now, and almost all of that is software. It's only gonna get better over time, and I can't wait to see what Google does with the Pixel 3. The nice thing about most of this being software is that even lower-end phones can get some pretty stellar cameras. Xiaomi recently released the Mi A2, which is a 250 euro phone that has a really good camera. It is an Android One phone, which means that they worked in very close association with Google, and I'm assuming that Google sprinkled a little bit of their software magic in there to make it compete with the Google Pixel 1 and even the Google Pixel 2. You can probably expect more low-end phones to get some pretty good cameras in the future, but I'm even more excited with what you can do with a really high-end phone with a great processor. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Let me know how you like the format of this video. I'm trying to be a little more narrative with the videos in between all these big phone launches. So leave your comments in the comment section below. I'll jump down there and talk to you guys soon and I'll see you later.